Hey, travelers, it's another week. Troy's back. We're in the backyard. We're in the backyard. It's so nice out. Back oh. in the backyard. It's a lot, of wor- a lot of use to the word back. Yeah. 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 My back is sore. <laughs> I'm back I'm, in the backyard. I'm old. <laughs> uh, so, Troy brought us some beer this week. Um, we're throwing it back to when uh, pre COVID. Because that, that's when the times were great. <laughs> and uh, so it's a little homage to one of the guys that, that came to both of our shows. Hopefully, oh, it, and if he does watch this show, um, hopefully he doesn't take offense to this. But uh, he asked us both times that we did the, the shows of the Pablo, the Tasting Notes event, um, uh, what cryo hops were. And to be honest with you, the first time that we did it, not it, a was, clue. it was us and uh, Jeremy from Surly, and none of us knew what cryo hops were. <laughs> so at, at least, I mean, you could understand if you and I probably didn't know what cryo hops were, but Jeremy didn't either. So I didn't feel as uh, bad. It made me feel a <laughs> lot it made better. Made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> uh, so he, and he asked the second time, and, and still we really didn't have any idea what cryo hops were. I think uh, Ian came up with an answer that maybe satisfied him a little bit. Uh, Ian Ian's a handsome devil, though. Yeah, so. yeah, and he's he's a good talker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Much better than I am. <laughs> uh, so I, I think it satisfied him, but you know, still at that point, nobody was really using cryo hops in beer. Uh, they are now. So yeah. Troy got a whole a variety, uh, pack. variety pack of cryo hop beer. And uh, truth be told, we uh, we had a failed attempt at the first time recording this, so these two are already open. They're so, already open. They're already open, folks. <laughs> so yeah, what, what I've been able to learn is cr- so if you. Find yourself with a hop in your hand. You're going to get this like powdery substance off the hop. That's called lupulin. That is all your alpha acids. That's where that's where all the magic that hops produce that go into beer happens. That that lupulin. You want that powder. It's light sensitive and all that stuff. So what I've been able to the thing uh, find is like cryo hops. They take them, they freeze them, they break down the hops even more in like a cryo chamber of some sort, and then they're able to use that to get a more intense version of the lupulin. So they, they freeze them like uh, fry on Futurama and then <laughs> export them to the future. Yeah, these hops are 100 years old. That's, that's where we got them. So Prove the f- me wrong. <laughs> 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 that's this whole show now. It's just us making up beer facts. Just prove me wrong. Everything, <laughs> all beer comes back to Futurama. Yeah. <laughs> a, if it a, can, that'd be great. The first beer in this variety pack series. So this is the only cryo hops I've seen in Wisconsin. It's a whole brewery that's dedicated and called Hot Vale, Hot Valley, my bad. And the, their whole shtick is this. You know, every brewery's got to have a shtick. We've said that probably a hundred times. And their shtick is cryo, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna give the whole variety pack. We're gonna do a, a variety pack sample in here. This one's got that IPA smell to it, I guess. Like I said, we we kind of already did a little bit of this, but. You know, the, it's kind of a lighter bodied IPA. It's stringent. It's definitely more West Coast, kind of like pine. You kind of get more of that resin. You get more of but that. But not, not like harsh. You no, know, no. S- some of those Some of those beers that you get from the West Coast are, you know, real enamel peelers. Yeah. 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 This one isn't going to peel your enamel. It's a, it's a drinkable IPA. I would say perhaps a little forgettable. I, you know, I would say th- this one is if you're if you're a boat person, you know, those of us in the Midwest love the, love our rivers and our lakes. You know, going out on the boat. If you're looking for a boat beer, and you don't want just like Coors Light or something, and you and you like IPAs, it wouldn't be bad. That that would be the Bubble Stash. Yeah, that's the name of this one, by the way, yep. is just a regular the regular IPA and their hop variety pack, and this one's the Bubble Stash. But I'd say a little light in the body, uh, a little on the forgettable side, but not bad for a variety pack beer. Right. Yeah. And and is uh, what did what did this run you? You see, you said that you bought this at Quick Trip. Right? Yeah. These th- this this is everywhere right now. Right. Like it it was nowhere and now it's everywhere. <laughs> In the oh, that's magical, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's there good go. stuff. I'm just like, is that my car? At least it's not the street sweeper. Yeah. I miss those guys. Yeah. I feel like I'm starting to bond with them a little bit. Were you? They were here so often. I know. <laughs> Pretty much every time we did one of these. So the next one in the series I get, uh, is the Mango Stash. And I, if anyone watches this show or knows enough about me, you know mango is not my favorite fruit. I don't hate mango. I just don't care about it. I'm, I'm like, I'm neutral on mango. 
So you like mango more than I like bananas per se. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. You dislike bananas. Yeah, I don't ex- actively with, dislike mango. With extreme, you know, extreme <laughs> extreme fervor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just like if given any other option, will not take the mango. Mm. Mango's like, eh, okay, that's yeah. all you got. I'll eat your mango. Sure. My wife always likes to cut. Uh, she'll buy them and cut them up and like, oh, we're gonna have them for breakfast. I'm like, yeah, you are. I mean, I'll have a banana. <laughs> I'd rather. <laughs> I'd rather eat a whole case of mangoes. A whole case. That's the name of your band. Mm-hmm. A case of mangoes. Just a case of mangoes. Just a case of mangoes. Mm-hmm. No, not. That is a good beer, though. This one's good. I would say the mango is not mango-y at all, but does add that tropical fruit flavor on the finish. But kind of rounds out what I felt like the first one was missing. Right. Kind of gives it a more rounded pa- uh, beer as opposed to the straight resiny. Like that <clears throat> tropical is kind of a nice balance to it. It's kind of it's kind of nice to just because you get you got a little bit of that stringent back end on the, that first one. Yeah. This one kind of I wonder if the, the mango just kind of takes that away. Yep. So that you don't really get any of that aftertaste. I, I literally don't taste any mango. I taste like fruit, but I don't. Fruit, I, but un, 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 unlike. I, I wouldn't in a blind be able to guess mango. No. But I like that part about this because I don't know. Right. Yeah. 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 But still very drinkable. I say that's see, the most drinkable one. See, and I guess that's the difference between you and me. I can drink a Hefeweizen. I don't like banana. <laughs> but I don't. I mean, there are some Hefeweizens that some weirdos actually put banana in instead of getting that banana flavor from the yeast, which I, I still just. I don't understand why you would do that. Why you would ever put a banana in a beer? But <clears throat> we had that one from uh, uh, that banana, banana bread beer. Yeah, yeah, that was a fun beer. And it was all right. When it's yeah. like it was a beer. It yes. was a beer. I didn't hate it. I didn't mm-hmm. want to throw it up. Which one? What's this one called? This is Stash Panda. Stash Panda made with real pandas. So <laughs> I love panda bits. <laughs> So this one was 6.2, 45 IBUs, which is pretty low, yeah. Especially for an IPA, I and mean, most they're stouts. Like Old Rasputin is probably ten on that. Yeah. This one was six point with only thirty IBUs. Which there are a lot of beers that have more than thirty IBUs. Yeah, a lot of not not just IPA, yeah, just, just, beer, I mean, just in general. beer in general. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. And now we're doing the this one, which is six point five. So they're kind of hanging around that six, and this one's fifty IBUs. This one's also supposed to be their hazy IPA. We all know about the hazy. The old hazy. Yeah, well, when you look at it, it She's certainly is that. Hazy or unfiltered. Who knows? <laughs> that being said, yes. have I ever told <laughs> you I don't actually care much for pandas? No? No? It's like, You're anti-panda? Not anti-panda, but it's like if you can't even have sex to survive, like, what do you want me to do for you? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah like, I, don't, I, I don't know. It would seem like maybe you shouldn't. It's a pretty easy thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, we want them to survive, though, I guess. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... We, as in the royal we. Yeah, I, they, don't. I feel like they have all the opportunities to do it. I think so. Literally and metaphorically speaking. Well, if if any more die, Sarah McLaughlin's going to have to come out with another mm-hmm. commercial. <laughs> have you been sad in a while? Yeah. No? No. Well, let Instead me, of dogs, well. now it's pandas. <laughs> I like the red panda better. Do you? I get nothing on the nose on this. There again, you're not, I mean. The noses on these are not jumping. No. The first one is, is probably got the most nose these of, two of, the, of the first three, but. Yeah. You're not really, it's not, it's almost like a dulled stringent flavor. Yeah. I don't know if I care for this one. No, I, don't I, know I like the I like the first two more than this one. Yeah, this one's just like stringent with no fun. It's like dull stringent though. You know what I mean? You know what you know when you get a stringent coming flavor. Up with, coming up with great band names here. Yeah, dull stringent. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the name of of my roadie. I'll just start calling him dull stringent. <laughs> we're all just roadies. <laughs> That's the only thing we're good for. <laughs> I, I mean, I can sing a little bit, but I mean, you actually got some chops. Yeah. I got I got I got nothing. I don't. I don't remember how to play any instruments anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't know if I care for this one. No, it doesn't do a hell of a lot for me. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty lukewarm on that guy. Pandas don't taste very good. I told you, don't yeah. like pandas. Yeah. You know, it's it's a fine beer and all, but uh, it's just 
Yeah. I mean, it's a variety pack beer, so, I mean, I wouldn't be upset if I bought this variety pack because it's... Oh, in there. I mean, there's... I, I mean, you would never buy this many, because many, it's a lot of IPAs. You, right. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would never buy this. Many of the IPAs, or many of the, the variety packs that you buy, there's at least one beer in, in there that you don't really care for. So this is their Imperial. This is the Cryo Stash. I wonder how they came up with that name. So this one's 8.7 with 40 IBUs. So huh. it's a, definitely the most alcohol. It's yeah, Imperial IPA. Mm. Oh boy. It's still just a little little hazy, little little foggy. I don't want to use the word haze because now that implies something. Just yeah. foggy. Can we yeah. use the word fog? Sure. Without calling it hazy. Foggy IPA? No, f- no, I don't think anybody's using that yet. I mean, I think Southern Tier has a lake They got fog, a foggy? Foggy, hazy IPA. Yeah. It's like Lake Fog or something like that. Really nothing on the nose. Just this, this one literally tastes like a bigger version of the first one. Yeah. Same stringency, same kind of like little, I'd say the body is a bit more filled out on this one, which alcohol can kind of help fill out a body a little right. bit. Right, yep. Yeah, guy knows I know. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. Looking at you guys. <laughs> we all know that one. A little alcohol fills you up. Anyways, <clears throat> just stringent, kind of a flat finish. and Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like... Uh, if Ice House made a, an IPA, Ice you guys House. remember Ice House, right? Oh, they still make Ice House. Yeah, I can do get they? some Ice House right now. If I want no. some Ice House? Not, not particularly. <laughs> I guess if we we're gonna relive the '90s, yeah, <laughs> I'd love some Ice House. I mean, that's kind of the, the nostalgia kick right now. Everyone's like pro '90s. Yeah, that's that, what I hear. That's what's hitting hard in the nostalgia. Factor. We had a, we had a friend that just bought zip up uh, pants today, or the zip down pants. I literally had someone tell me the other day, "I'm gonna go buy some zip away." So I'm like. Yeah. Why? I said you should buy some Zubaz, too, <laughs> before those become too popular and we can't find them, because now that's the thing. If something's popular, you just got to go buy it all out. My secret is just never change your wardrobe and just let it go in and out of fashion as life goes on. Yeah? Yeah. That's... I've never... this. What I'm wearing today is basically the same thing I wore... I was... I've ba- worn for... <laughs> I was back watching some of our episodes. I'm like, God, I need to get some new clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing the same shirt in like th- a third of our videos. Did you Did you go back to like when we were start st- first started the vlog? I, I, I went like I, a I, year I, and a half, two years ago. Yeah, yeah. I was maybe go back a little further. And you, the same maybe pl- you still have that shirt back then. Uh, Who knows? Uh, the one I'll probably yeah, it's, it's a little repetitive on my end. I hopefully no one's watching this show for fashion tips. Uh, two fat guys reviewing uh, beer in the backyard. I, I uh, highly unlikely. That's mm. that's where they're going for their fashion tips. If I had to overall say, I don't necessarily know why cryo hops versus regular hops. Like, if there's like a, a financial advantage or a, or like is just there's just their shtick. Oh, or maybe uh, maybe you can get more out of hops. You don't maybe, have to use as many. Maybe uh, I would say the one thing that is definitely noticeable about cryo hops is. Noses. They just don't have the nose. No. That I have. Right. You know, usually IPAs to me, when you put that glass, that you should just get so much. Like, that's half the fun of the IPA. If it's that's just, what you like. That's yeah. what I want. That big bouquet of smells and. Yep. You know all these fun f- smell uh, like floral, citrus, whatever it may be. And I just I have not got uh, the first one. I'll give that one credit, but the rest of them bupkis. I've used the word bupkis now twice in this. Is that? I, I would. Yeah. I don't know. I would say uh, they're good boating beers. Hmm. If you're looking for, and, and you said they're relatively inex- like, inexpensive, it's like right? fourteen bucks for yeah. that. Yeah. No, yeah. nowadays for a twelve pack, that's not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid, and they're so, everywhere. It's not a yeah. bad, not a bad pickup, not a bad like drink through, but yeah. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what this brewery does over the next few years uh, to see if they if they keep kind of like pushing the. the I mean, I, I think it's cool that they're doing the cryo hops. You know, yeah. We have plenty of breweries making IPAs out there, so like it's sure. always fun when someone brings something new to the table. Got to do something different. Got to be different somehow. Yeah. So uh, you can actually find these in in Wisconsin, I guess. Uh, Troy got these at Quick Trip, so if you can um, get them at a Quick Trip, you can get them anywhere. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's literally a Quick Trip everywhere. Everywhere around Wisconsin, anyway. And for those of that that live in Minnesota, I mean, there are quick trips there, but whether or not you can get Hop Valley, who knows? Yeah, I mean, they have the whole 3 4 or 2 4, whatever it is, laws. I don't. 3 2. 3 yeah. 2, that's what it is. Yep. Or yeah. did. So, uh, yeah, if, if they don't still have, uh, if Minnesota still doesn't have 
three two, just let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we'd, that's actually a good good question. Yeah, we'd love to know. I haven't been to Minnesota in over a year. How about that? I mean, we used to go to the <clears> cities like once every two months just to get hit up a restaurant or something. But well, we'll, COVID, have, to, we'll have to do that soon because uh, there's a lot of breweries we haven't been to, and I've been over there, and I yeah. I went to two new ones, and we also had a kid. I, st- I still uh, haven't you know scratched the surface. So I mean, they keep they open them faster than we can go to them. I know. Well, I, I think that I think they've stopped right. mostly. Right. I mean, I don't want them to stop, but at the same time, I kind of want them to stop just because, like, I feel overwhelmed. Need like a couple of years to catch up. Yeah, give me like a few years, and then we can open another. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, that's it for this week. You know, check out Hop Valley. Uh, tell us what you think about it, or if you've already had them, or if you've had other beers that have cryo hops in them. Let us know what you think yeah. about those. It, it, maybe this isn't the best example of cryo hops. Right? I don't know. Yeah, I maybe mean, I don't maybe wanna... there's maybe there's something I more out there. Literally, have drank thousands of different types of beers. Only cryo hops are right here. Yep. So I'm, I'm, I'm eager to, to try more because you know one brewery doesn't mean that's how it is. Absolutely. Know? Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, check us out on all the social medias, and of course, if you haven't already subscribed to us right here on YouTube, you should do that. Um, and uh, and we'll have more beers next week. Yeah. Subscribe. And, uh, and maybe maybe Andy will make a, a surprise appearance on one of these. He's, he's supposed to be back in the area, so we'll see. We'll that's see if we can get him to be a that part. That just of sounds stuff. exhausting. I know, right? So anyway, we'll uh, see you all next week, everybody. Until then, from my empty beer glass, prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.